Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I'm going to teach you how to tape an inside corner with paper tape. What you'll need is 2 inch paper drywall tape. I like to use a 4 inch knife for inside corners. You can use a 5 or a 6, but I find a 4 keeps the corners tighter and makes less mess. And you will also need some thin down all purpose or taping mud. Now you might be wondering, can't I just use the stuff in the bucket? The answer is no. How hard do you want to work? And the next thing you might be saying is, I don't have a mixing drill and a paddle. Well, that's not actually a big deal. What you can do is pour some water into the bucket, take a one by one, and just mash it around a bit. Just thin it down any way you can, because you really don't want to try and tape corners with mud that's too thick. The other thing you can do is put a little bit of water in the pan, and just mix it around like this until it starts getting closer. And as you work with it, as you start taping the corner and spreading it around, it'll all start to spread into the same consistency. It just might be the first couple angles that are a little bit inconsistent. So anyways, I've got my corner already pre-filled. There was a big gap up here, so I pre-filled it. There, it's not so bad. You can watch my video on pre-filling to see how and why you need to do that. Anyways, let's get to taping this corner. The first thing you should note is there is a crease in paper tape. Now, that's important because you're going to be folding it like that and that's how it bridges the gap in the corner. The first thing you're going to want to do is give yourself a nice clean corner on your tape. Take your knife, hold it at an angle and pull this way nice and hard. Now you've got a nice square corner for your tape. Next you want to cut it to length. So I'm just going to drop this end because I don't care. And I'm going to take this end where I like to get my tape to is a quarter inch from the corner bead. I like to install my corner beads before my tape. I'm going to go all the way over here to a quarter inch away from where the corner bead ends. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to put my knife up to a quarter inch away from where this corner bead ends. And then again, tear. Now I've got my tape to length. I'm going to crease it. and I'm just going to set it aside while I get the mud on. Okay, buttering time. And in this case, what I like to do is get it right on the pocket, right in the corner right there. So I just kind of dip it in there, and I've got it right there, so it's only about two inches wide. I take some of the excess off. Okay, the underside's always a little bit harder. Same thing. And here's something I'm, I'm doing. I'm holding my knife like this, because if I hold it like this, I'm gonna pull all the mud off right here, and I'm gonna get dry tape. So I kinda angle my knife a little bit funny, so that I'm not pulling the mud off of the bottom of the angle. And I'm putting a good liberal eight to a quarter inch of mud on here. You want to make sure it's getting in all the gaps. Okay, now I'm flattening it all out consistently. I'm going to do the same thing here, one to flatten it all out consistently. Let's take a quick look at that before I put the tape on. So you can see it's pretty consistent in thickness and I didn't take the mud out from the corners with my knife. Next comes the fun part. I put my tape in, it's creased and I just find the center there and I keep it a quarter inch away from each end and then I quickly take my knife and very gently press it in, very gently press it in like this and that just helps ensure that it's straight And, and now, out of habit, I always start on the bottom, so I'm just going to gently press this tape into place. And the reason I start on the bottom is 9 times out of 10 there will be a gap on the bottom and not the top. If I was to go pressing on the top, I would accidentally push the tape into the gap. So I like to start on the bottom. It helps square the tape nicely. And I'm just gently wiping making sure to keep mud under the tape. 
Now I've done both sides. You know I started in the middle and worked my way out. Started in the middle and worked my way out. And then I dropped my knife. So now I'm gonna do the same thing here. Start in the middle, work my way out. Okay, now take note, you probably can't see, but I have a line left from the knife. I'm gonna bend my knife at an angle, and I'm just gonna get rid of that line. So now let's take a close up look and see what that tape should look like. So as you can see, I've left no excess material. Just a nice clean line up here too. Nice clean line, really crisp corner. So that's going to coat really easily when the time comes to do that. And now if you guys want a cheater secret, if you're using all purpose mud and you're planning on using that through the length of the job, you can also cheat right now and put a quick coat on one side of it just to get ahead of the game. I'm gonna feather my edge. And I'm gonna go like this. Same with here. One last pass. No lift off. Oh, that edge needs some feathering. And when that dries, you can then coat the next side. So that's how to tape an inside corner, how to cheat an inside corner. And I hope with this video you're able to see how the pros do it and get an idea as to how to do a nice inside corner. Thanks for watching.